Hey, Thomas Munro here from NSA Hockey. Today on Tech Tip Thursday, we're gonna go through some stance progressions. All right, so today we're talking about stance progression. Once we've got our main stance dialed in, there's certain situations where we can slightly modify that stance. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Sarah in her stance, her regular stance. So when she's in this stance, she's got a really good mix of mobility, vision, and having the ability to pull out anything in her save selection to make a save. But as the puck comes away from a shooting threat and goes further up towards the blue line, Sarah can stand up a little bit more because the shooting threat has dissipated a little bit. So if the puck's up at the blue line and there's a shot on Sarah, she'll still have time to return to her normal stance as she can see that shot coming to make a save. Okay, so let's say the puck's at about the hash marks. Sarah's in her regular stance. So she's down low enough, ready to drop down into butterfly if she needs to, but she's got her feet position and she's high enough in her stance to get that lateral mobility if she needs it. So when the puck's in close, only a couple of meters away from us, and we're getting down into that lower stance, we are gonna sacrifice a little bit of lateral mobility. But, this, but the thing is, in that situation, the only place that the puck's really gonna go laterally is going to be over to the side of the net. And if you're in that situation, you're really gonna to wanna to go into a butterfly slide. So it's okay to sacrifice that upper mobility as far as T pushes and shuffles because that's the only play we're gonna do in that situation anyway. So as the D-man's walking along the blue line and there isn't much of a shooting threat, Sarah can be up in that high stance. And then once the defenseman gets to a position where they can shoot, she'll drop straight down into that regular stance. So for anywhere around the hash marks, or any kind of regular scoring threat situation, Sarah's just gonna be in a regular stance. But as that shooting threat comes from that kind of situation, further in, you can see Sarah dropping down that upper body and dropping into a bit of a lower stance. Because she's blocking the majority of the top of the net with her shoulders, she doesn't need to be up high. All right, so we've just seen Sarah demonstrate stance transitioning. And a couple of key points there is when the puck's up at the blue line and there's not much of a scoring threat, we can stand up a bit further in our stance. And as it returns down towards the net, getting back into that normal stance. And then as the puck's coming really close in and we're looking at more of a blocking save, we can get down a lot lower in our stance, sacrifice a little bit of lateral movement, but really block a lot more of the net from the puck's perspective. So one thing we've got to remember when we're transitioning through different stances is keeping our depth and really managing where we are in our net. And if we do that, we'll be right. Thanks a lot for watching this week's NSA Tech Tip Thursday. Stay tuned for next week when we're gonna look at some movement progressions and applying these differences in stance through our movement.